hey what is up everybody my name is Rahul and in this video we'll be going through a room called bugged so if you want to explore IoT pen testing or want to learn in depth or just have a hang of the MQTT protocol which powers most of the IoT infrastructure then this is definitely going to be a video for you now before we begin, let's just see what the description has to say. So the description says that John was working on his smart home appliances when he noticed weird traffic going across the network. Can you help him figure out what these weird network communications are? So that is what we are here for. So what, the first thing we can do is copy uh, the IP address and run Rust scan. So I was in the discord for a while and I noticed a lot of people having the same issue which was not being able to uh, scan or get the the port open for this particular room so what I typically do in these cases and scenarios is just run rust scan every time it is super fast and unlike nmap which will generally run the top 1000 ports uh, rust scan will run all the or will, will scan for all the open ports so now as you can see this is the port right here so we do not know what this port is but it does give us a hint that it is mqtt so let's just run nmap tag sc tag sv tag p1883 followed by the ip address now while the scan is running let's just go through what mqtt in general is so for in instance let us assume that uh, you have an iot device which is a smart device so you have a thermometer right over here and you have your smartphone now what happens is you have something called a server or a broker which is MQTT broker over here so MQTT is also a protocol and and for the sake of this image or video uh, let's just assume that here is a MQTT broker sitting in between so what generally or typically happens is these IoT devices what they will always do is they will always publish something so what does publish mean publish means that their data so for instance what is the temperature right now so this data will be published to our MQT, MQTT broker now what will the broker do of this data nothing right so you need what is called a subscriber so here our subscriber is our cell phone so our cell phone says to our MQTT, to MQTT broker that I need to subscribe to the thermometer details so this is called a topic which is the temperature and, the te and this is the IoT device which will publish the temperature and then MQTT broker will send it to the mobile device so um, this is in general what or how MQTT in general works you have something called publish subscribe a broker and a topic so subscriber will always subscribe to a topic because because the subscriber or the if or the front end or the device does not know what the actual device is so you have something called topics so you can have a topic called temperature you can have a topic called lights so you have different topics being published and the subscriber will subscribe to them now we have this data at hand so this uh, we ran the nmap scan nmap ran its scripts and we have a server called M mosquito running I uh, will not be getting into the version but as you can see there are a quite a few topics the first topic is camera so you see that there is camera in the front deck you have a toaster in the kitchen it is also a smart device so it is the reason that it is publishing such amount of information you have some you have lights you have a speaker in the living room and you can see the volume great so how do you find out so uh, I have solved this room once so I know for a matter of fact that something is missing over here and it is quite normal because an map scan might have taken about 10 to 15 seconds and there is a time restriction on when a publisher will send messages so one message might have been skipped so how do you uh, typically pen test for MQTT so let's just type MQTT and hack tricks and as you can see in here we have quite a few tools but the one that I would recommend is mosquito so I have it already installed so there are two clients with mosquito one is the publisher through which you can simulate publisher and one is the subscriber through which you can simulate the subscriber 
so I'm I'm going to be using mosquito mosquito subscriber and we know that there is a topic to be subscribed to so if I subscribe to this topic all I'll be getting is this information but I want every information so there is a wildcard that I can use and this is the wildcard let me copy it and let's just send it let's just wait what the information that we get and as you can see we are not just getting one information but we are getting each and every uh, information on all the topics and here you can see that we get something extra and this is what it was but was being referred to so can you find figure out what these weird communications are so this is the weird communication being sent now you might think that this is the flag but hold your horses for a minute let's just base 64 decode it and you'll see that there is an ID there are registered commands and there is a pub there is a topic publisher topic and there is a subscriber topic now the thing is publisher will always publish information subscriber will always get the information now you cannot tell this uh, being a subscriber you cannot tell the publisher to to you know or you cannot tamper with it and uh, directly through this model so how do we get a flag right because for a matter of fact we know that we are uh, we being a subscriber which we just simulated with the help of MQTT or Mos sorry with the help of Mosquito Sub as you can see right here Mosquito Sub we simulated uh, this device being this device we cannot tell the uh, we cannot tell any IoT device what to do and what to publish so uh, there might be a security vulnerability that we will be discussing here so if you decode this you will see two things first the commands that are being accepted there is an ID and there is a publisher topic and there is a subscriber topic so as of now we do not know what is what and how to uh, how to work around this room or how to in, uh, approach this room so what we'll try to do is we will try mosquito sub with a topic of publisher which is this so this is the topic that we'll be touching upon with the host of and if you ask me how I know and how what I'm why I'm doing this so for a matter of fact we know that we have tried all the topics because this is a wild card but there seems to be a topic that is not being listed or not being uh, sent by the broker so in um, so there might be something that uh, that might have been configured by the that might have been configured by creating the room so this is the topic that we'll be touching upon because this this topic accepts three arguments which is help CMD and system so what we'll be doing is we will be listening to this uh, or we'll be subscribing to this topic so let's just hit enter and we will be sending or simulating and we'll be simulating this publish uh, publisher so let's just try to simulate it mosquito Now here I'll be using pub because I am be, I'll be publishing something. The topic, the topic will be this. We'll be using a message because it will always send a message. So let's just say test message and a host. So let me just copy the host and we have the host copied right here. So as you can see, we got something back here and let me tell you something about MQTT protocol so the message that you post will be you'll be getting the same exact message back but as you can see we are not getting the exact same message back we are getting this base 64 encoded string so there seems to be an issue so let for a ma we, we so what we are trying to do here is we are trying to sort of uh, make things work uh, let me just um, reduce my screen size yep <clears throat> so what we did here was being we published something and MQTT broker might have done something and then what we received was a base 64 encoded string so this is what we are going to take advantage of right here so we have we what we published was a test message but what we received was completely different so let me base 64 decode it 
and here we have it so it says invalid message format the format that was expected was this but it needs to base64 encode it so let's just send it here we need an we need a backdoor id and for a matter of fact we know what the backdoor id is because we had i had mentioned it in the beginning which is this here we have now there are three commands that are accepted help cmd and sys so we'll be using cmd and the argument is going to be ls and we are going to base64 encode it now what we are going to do is we are going again we will be listening to the same publisher topic and we'll be sending it from here but this time we'll be sending our base64 encoded string here we have it so we have got something but this time this is short let us try to base64 decode it so here we have our message we are trying to base64 decode it and here we have it the response is flag.txt so let me go to a new uh, tab and instead of the cmd what i'll be doing here is i'll be typing in cat flag.txt we selected base64 and this has been base64 encoded now what i'll be doing is i'll be pasting it here and here we have it now this is the flag guys so uh, let me just copy it and oh, sorry we need to base64 decode it right so so this is it uh, for the sake of it I'll be removing some part of it because I do not want to show the flag but from base64 if I select we get will be getting a response in the flag right here so thank you guys this is it for the video